Hi guys, welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. In today's show, I'm going to explain our architecture for a reference data management solution which I have implemented in my current project end-to-end. -end. These are the various Azure services I have used in this implementation. It's SharePoint, Power Automate, Azure File Storage, Azure Data Factory, there the pipelines are dynamic in nature which i'll explain more in detail share drive azure sql database and power apps so guys let's dig in and see how i have implemented this but before that a small intro so guys uh, this is the high level architecture diagram which i have created so if you see at the left hand side, it starts from there, the SharePoint. There are various folders, UAT, Dev, Test for the environments and Prod, which is a bit separated as you see here and an archive folder. First, let's discuss what is reference data. So reference data is basically um, an additional contextual or uh, descriptive information that is not provided by the source system. This information can be provided through an external source or as a user managed data. So in my scenario, it's a user managed data. And further, these tables can be created into dimensions, data warehouse dimensions so that we can slice and dice on the data either uh, in our reports which can be a power bi report or in cubes can be an ssas cube so this uh, solution we called it as reference data editor and it loads data dynamically in three environments which are non prod environments uat dev and test once the data is verified to be correct in those environments, then the deployment is further done in the prod environment. So the first step here is the user uploads the file in the UAT folder. So once the CSV file is uploaded there in the UAT folder, there is a power automate flow which I have designed to synchronously copy that particular file in the test and dev folders which are test environment and dev environment folders. Once the file is copied across all the folders, again a power automate flow will execute at a scheduled time to copy those files from the respective folder. For example, if we take the scenario of UAT, it will copy the file first in the test and dev folder and then this power automate flow will copy the file from UAT to the Azure file storage. Once the file gets copied to the Azure file storage, that file gets further copied inside a virtual machine shared drive by the Azure data factory pipeline. And this pipeline processes the files dynamically which means suppose user uploads here five files. So those five files will get loaded into five tables in the SQL server. So what this data factory will do, it will process each and every file one by one dynamically by using the file name. So the file name and the table name in the SQL server should be same to make this process dynamic. So in this information session, I'll not be covering the uh, Azure Data Factory pipelines, but if you want to know in more details, let me know in the comments. I'll create a video on that as well. So basically, the flow is from SharePoint to the Azure file storage right from this arrow and then from data factory it moves to the VM file share. All the file gets copied into an input folder which we have named as 
reference data management and then once the file gets processed by the data factory it moves automatically into an archive folder so archive folder is created inside this reference data management folder so that we keep a history of the files which are loaded and also in the SharePoint if you see this below dashed lines so here once the file gets copied to the Azure file storage the respective file also get renamed and copied to an archive folder here in SharePoint right so what it does it it maintains a file name underscore username underscore timestamp format for that respective file so that we maintain a history both in SharePoint as well as in the VM file share so basically um, once these files are processed it gets copied or gets loaded into an Azure SQL Server database table which are named as per the file names suppose file name is abc.csv the same table name should exist in Azure SQL Server database so as to load all the records from the SharePoint to the final destination which is our dimension then once the file is across all these three non-prod environments which is dev test and UAT user can do a unit testing or user acceptance testing in the UAT environment and see if the required data or the attributes which he has updated or inserted new records are now reflected in the report or cube once it's confirmed that the correct data is being reflected then that same file can be uploaded in the prod folder of the SharePoint so that the same process can be executed in prod and the file gets deployed finally in the Azure SQL Server table and finally it's reflected in the prod report or queue so this is basically a high level information which I wanted to uh, provide in this show so let me know in the comments if you want me to prepare a detailed video for any of these uh, objects maybe Azure Data Factory pipeline maybe Power Automate flow or how it's getting loaded into um, SQL Server database uh, I'll be more than happy to create a video on the same thank you guys and see you in the next show